apple, why don't we do teeth? Come on, let's do teeth. Let's do teeth. Well, as you can see, Apple gets very excited when I talk about teeth. Dental care is very, very important with dogs. If your dog is over two years old and you don't brush regularly, the chances are very, very great, probably about 80% that your dog has periodontal disease. Periodontal disease is an infection caused by bacteria along the gum line and that forms a film on the gums and teeth called plaque. If the plaque is not removed within just a few days it develops into tartar and tartar is much much harder to remove. Plaque fortunately is easy to remove but since it only takes a couple of days for the plaque to turn into tartar you've got to be on it every day. There are a few reasons why we want to remove that bacterial film from your dog's teeth and gums. First of all, of course, it's going to cause problems with the teeth. Dental work, when done by a veterinarian, is quite expensive and is quite taxing on your dog. It involves anesthesia and scaling of the teeth because the tartar has already built up and it has to be removed with dental instruments and usually will cost somewhere between $500 and $1,000 just for one dental treatment. Also, if that bacteria is allowed to migrate into the dog's bloodstream, it can affect some of the dog's organs if it gets lodged in there. Um, it can affect the liver and the kidneys and so on, but most important, it can affect the heart. And with Cavaliers, we worry about the heart very much because heart disease is quite prevalent in older Cavaliers and we want to minimize the chance that it's going to happen with our dogs. So the remedy is to brush every day. Very simple, you don't need very much. First of all you need a dog toothpaste. You can't use human toothpaste. Human toothpaste is not digestible. Dog toothpaste is. I tried very hard for years to teach my dogs to spit it out but it doesn't work. So, then we have to use the dog toothpaste. They like the flavor. Look for a toothpaste that has the seal of the Veterinary Oral Health Council. That little yellow seal there says VOHC. That means the council has determined that it is effective in reducing plaque. As far as an applicator is concerned, I find much better results with a little fingertip applicator as opposed to, oh, she knows, <laughs> you look at, that she likes the flavor um, as opposed to a toothbrush so let me show you what it looks like and that just slips right over your finger and you apply a generous amount of toothpaste on it it's got these little nubby things all over all around so let's take a look and see how ac we actually apply this come on come up good girl okay apple you want teeth huh yeah, you like that. Now that she's had a taste of that toothpaste and remembers how much she likes the flavor, I apply a generous amount to the applicator, use my other hand to open her mouth and hold it open and apply it thoroughly, rubbing gently but firmly. You don't really have to scrub too hard while you're applying the toothpaste because the enzyme action will remove the plaque. But you do have to make sure that you cover all of those teeth. The front teeth are called incisors. They're important because the dogs use those to bite off pieces of their food, and so they should be covered thoroughly. Those four fang-like teeth are called the canines. Those are really important because they are the ones that keep the dog's tongue in place. If a dog should lose the canines, you could have a case where the tongue is constantly hanging out of the dog's mouth and it would look kind of like this. Behind the canines you'll find the premolars and those are the ones that I find my older dogs losing most easily so it's important to keep those clean. They're used for chewing. And way in the back there you will see the molars and those are also used for chewing. They're hard to get to but they are also important to try to keep clean. Bootsy, pause up. Good girl. Uh -huh. And then it was Bootsy's turn. Good girl. 
Bootsy has already had some dental work done uh, because I did not brush her teeth when she was younger and I really should have. So she lost a bunch of teeth that had to be extracted, mostly premolars. But I start with her front teeth and I make sure that I get those canines nice and clean. And then I work my way to the inside and around to the back to make sure that she doesn't lose any more of those teeth. And she does have some molars, so I just want to keep them there. Good girl. Good apple. Good Bootsy. So especially once your dog reaches about two years old, you'll want to uh, brush the teeth regularly every day. If you skip one day, it won't hurt. Uh, once you skip three or four days, it's going to allow the tartar to build up. So you have to be very regular about it. Okay. Apple, did you want to do more teeth? Ooh, teeth, 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 teeth. Uh, you can't get to it because the cap is on. Sorry. Anyway, hope your dogs are dentally healthy and happy otherwise. <laughs>